state is watching. The results could affect who has the power in Tennessee. And Monday morning quarterbacking, what Coach Fisher has to say about his losing Titans. Working for you in high definition, this is Channel 4 News. Hey, good evening. Welcome to Channel 4 News at 6. In a big statewide political race, you expect big spending, tough ads, and help from political heavyweights. But all of that and more is happening in a smaller rural state house district. Channel 4's Kara Kamari is live outside the Capitol to explain. Well, health workers got their H1N1 vaccine today. We'll tell you when you can get yours. But first, the Channel 4 I-Team hidden camera investigation. It involves ICE, the sheriff's special authority to check lawbreakers for citizenship. Our camera caught one of those ICE officers in a sticky situation. Know something that Channel 4 I-Team should investigate? Call 353-2474. So up next is six, a Halloween prank that no one's laughing about. Now a Star Wars character is wanted by police. And the question is, how many times will you need your umbrella this week? And when we're trying to get our next storm right now. You see, coming out of Texas and Oklahoma. We'll talk more about that when we come back. And coming up tonight on Channel 4 News at 6.30, a new twist in the Maytown Center Front and what census workers are now requesting after a worker was found hanging from the tree. And this. It's a giant sign advertising what appears to be an adult business, but according to the government, it's really not. We'll explain at 6.30. It's all coming up tonight on Channel 4 News at 6.30. We're welcoming questions on WSMB.com. And by the way, welcome, Bob. I didn't get to say that yesterday. Thank you yesterday. very much, Dan. Yeah. And you were at last week's Surviving the Storm. And of go okay, so. do you think? Yeah, it was great. And I learned a lot. It was fabulous. Good. Well, welcome yeah. aboard. Yeah. Thank you. Just ahead, the new sign that's raising eyebrows in one day. And police need help finding a man who robs people with a butcher knife. Plus, that's From being a basketball millionaire to being broke and homeless, I'll have the tragic story of a national legend. 6.30. Stay with us. Coming up, a major scandal that has the Pentagon trying to do some damage control. And what the White House is saying about North Korea's latest round of missile tests. We'll be right back. Know something that Channel 4 ID should investigate? Call 353-2474 or send an email to IT at WSNB.com. The deadly crane accident in a busy downtown intersection, but wait until you hear why a sidewalk is to blame for the accident. For news and weather 24 hours a day, go to WSMP.com. Checking with Dan Thomas in the Pinpoint Weather Center. Dan, do you skate? I do. I was just thinking, I love ice skating. See, I never took it up. I was afraid I'd fall and, like, break more than the ice. So, <laughs> so you've never tried it? Never tried it. Try it sometime with some knee pads. Now, at Elements. my age, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, right. You're not that brittle. <laughs> All right. Well, we go to your forecast and talk about what's in store. And not so much the cold. I think more clouds are coming. And, in fact, more rounds of rain. We'll have to endure several rounds this week. I always love The hits so. just keep on coming. They do. All right. All right, here's Demetria with a look at what's coming up on Channel 4 News tonight at 10. Thanks a lot, Tom. Coming up at 10, it was bad enough when vandals targeted a historic cemetery, but now the mystery is deepened and it all centers on one gravestone. And we're in Dixon County where it's a last-ditch effort to vote on a budget. Will they raise your taxes or close the schools? We'll have the latest on those stories and more tonight at 10. Thanks, DK. Well, up next, how you can own a piece of Elvis and Marge Simpson posing Playboy? You better believe it. The story's next. Maybe yep. it'll open things up. All right. Rudy Kalis, thank All you. Right. And that's going to do it for Channel 4 News at 6.30. Thanks so much for joining us. Dimitri and Bob are back at 10. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.